Welcome to Knitting Daily, where yarn and fiber takes center stage. Join knitting expert Uni Jang, crochet ace Kim Worker, spinning and weaving fiberista Liz Gibson, and favorite stitcher Shea Pendre. Get started with the world's most beautiful fibers and yarns. Meet trend-setting designers, improve or learn new skills, knit along with us, and make time for yarn every day. Hi, welcome to today's show. Our topic is Yummy Yarns, and I'm here with Deborah Knight from YarnMarket.com. Hi, Deborah. Hi, it's great to be here. Oh, thanks for coming. Now, tell us about these yummy yarns from edible sources that you have with you. Well, if you love food and you love clothes, then you're going to love clothes made with food. <laughs> and the first thing I've brought is this shrimp cocktail. <laughs> you start off the meal with um, some lovely shrimp cocktail as a yarn. We've got a wool cotton blend in this, plus the um, byproduct of tofu, a soy silk, and the um, chitin from shrimp and crab legs. And this is a wonderful yarn for knitting. It's great for socks, and it's a really popular choice right now. Oh, excellent. Now, what else? I think there's something else from the sea that we have here today. Yes, we have kelp. Now, here's an unusual yarn. This one is made with um, kelp and wool. And you can see it's got a beautiful, lustrous fiber here. It's a double strand in variegated colors, and the um, variety of colors in this yarn is just lovely. Now, is it called kelp? If I look on the label, will I see that, or does it go under a different type of fiber? Name? Actually, it's called sea cell, sea cell. and that is a, um, a patented product, mm -hmm. and it is created using kelp. Oh, how exciting. They also use sea cell in this lovely uh, cotton blend. And this is really nice. It's washable, um, great for wicking the uh, moisture from your body. Oh. So it's a nice choice for the warmer weather. And now speaking of washable, we also have yarn that's made from corn, don't we? Isn't this beautiful? This is um, a, a lovely corn yarn that's great for babies, afghans, um, anything that you want to be washable and easy care. Because it's machine washable and dryable. Yes, it is. And then now tell me a bit about this soy yarn. Well, here's an interesting one. Um, Henry Ford in the 1930s tried to introduce soy fabrics to the U.S., but it didn't really catch on. But it is now. It is now. And we've got this lovely um, fabric that you can create using a soy soy wool blend. And then what do we have over here? Oh, this is this is milk. This yarn is actually 80% milk, 20% cotton, and it has the most lustrous feel to it. It's actually quite creamy feeling actually, oh, isn't it? It is, and it drapes beautifully. And what they did was they created a version that's undyed. So you can use one of these, um, they're FDA approved um, colors, and not only can you dye the yarn with it, you can also use it for food coloring. It's that safe. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, great. Now, what about bamboo? Oh, this is a wonderful fiber. And if you take a look, it's so lustrous. And when you knit it up, it drapes beautifully. And one of the wonderful things about bamboo fibers is that they're eco-friendly. The bamboo will replenish itself in only 59 days. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so great. Thank you so much, Deborah, for being with us. And there's our introduction to Yummy Yarns. Stay tuned for more projects and ideas about how to use them in your own work. Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by YarnMarket.com, a global resource for over 600 yarns plus books, patterns, and other knitting supplies. YarnMarket.com. Projects, patterns, ideas, and techniques from today's show to help you make time for yarn every day can be found on the web at KnittingDailyTV.com. This is Show 107. Continue Knitting Daily every day by joining the online Knitting Daily community and receive a free newsletter five times a week filled with step-by-step -step techniques, inspiring reader-contributed stories, and free patterns. It's about knitting all the time. KnittingDaily.com